So pretty much we formed in my garage, but before that Joel was doing his own thing um, and he asked me to play with him a couple times and uh, I didn't like it um, and I didn't want to play with him. Um, and then stuff happened with my parents, ended up getting some money for my grandma and I had some extra money left over and I bought some music equipment um, and then I asked Joel to come over. Like listen to each other and like figure out when he hits. And then like you can kind of like go in between like the hits and stuff and like yeah, try, make a try rhythm together. Something. How do you feel? Good. Uh, now I feel really great because me and James are a really great friend. And we're having a really great, really great yeah, time together. Really yeah. Me and James are really great friends. What about Joel? Yeah. And then, then it switches to this. So I could like okay. one after another. What? I don't know what a flam is. First, I was just kind of doing stuff on my own, and then uh, I was like the pianist that is playing with us right now. Uh, that's who I was like playing with, and we were just doing acoustic stuff. And I had everyone pretends under like already written, and then uh, started collaborating in um, all the, like our computer stuff we had. And uh, I was like writing music. I was writing "Time Helps," and uh, I was having trouble with the melodies. So I was like, "Oh, Joel, because we work together." I was like, "Oh, Joel, you want to come over?" and uh, so yeah, Time Helps kind of started like the first like the first collaboration that we had. I felt like we needed to like kind of discover our sound first before we kind of like started bringing other members in. So if we had drummers and like you know started bringing in like other guitarists or bassists or anything like, I felt like our sound would have been molded to what they want, what kind of like what those players would be. So I wanted to have it where it was just us two and we can really discover like how we like to write and how we see the music and then bring other people once we have a solid foundation. So that's the reason why I wanted to stay acoustic at first. It's like really fun to work with Carrie because you can, you pretty much get like complete control over like the creativity and he's like there to help you every step of the way. Um, you know, it's the only downside is it's kind of far away but I mean. I'd be willing to drive the distance every day just so that way I could, you know, have a chance of making the songs better. And we worked with somebody once, somebody wanted us to record for the class or something like that, and we went to some studio thing and it was just like, we, we've been going to carry the whole time and we went to this one and it was just like the worst thing ever. Like everybody was just like, all right, go in here, do this, go do this, and it was just like, I mean, that's probably how it is, but it was like, I want to be able to make sure my music sounds, or like nurture it, like how I want it to sound, and at carries you can do like, Pretty much yeah. uh, that. You know, yeah, I really recommend it. Yeah. Pirate so. Rock Production. It was recorded in Carrie's studio and we got all our friends to come out um, and record it with us, the piano guy, a violinist, and a drummer. And uh, we wanted just to release a couple songs, uh, Time Helps and Everyone Pretends, so people can kind of identify with Ostrom and who we are. Give them a little taste of whatever we were trying to do. Yeah. And, um, um, and Cello Man kind of added to it. I like him. Probably work with him in the future. But, uh, oh yeah, we have a cello on that too. Our future plans are we're recording music videos and we're already uh, starting to write for uh, an EP to come out in summer um, called uh, Tubular and uh, 
and it's gonna consist of four songs and uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're on the roll, baby. <laughs> no, what we're, what we're really gonna do. That's what we're doing. Okay, whatever. Whatever, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, don't listen to Joel. Tubular. No, go ahead, Joel, say it. Tubular. <laughs> Tubular!